Hi, I just wanted to tell you about a recent little mini haul that I got on Hope Look. And it came, I think it came on Christmas Eve and I was so excited. And I was like, yay! <laughs> um, the first thing that I found in the box were these amazing little spiky earrings. And I love them. They are all kinds of fabulous. Um, and if you're wondering, yeah, the glasses are new. I'm still kind of getting used to them. Um, I really only need them for long distance um, and just to see myself <laughs> clearly in the small little video screen is not that I'm having to do this and squint. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying not to get any glare on the lenses. Um, that keeps me from, I, I just tell myself, don't age, don't age, don't squint, don't give yourself wrinkles. <laughs> I'm nearing my um, 39th birthday this month and so I'm I'm doing all I can to stay as fair and young as possible so that's what this is all about so I'm wearing my glasses now I may or may not wear them on a more regular basis while I'm filming but I thought they were kind of fun because they're bright teal and I spent a pretty penny on them these guys were yeah they were very fashionably pricey but I, I thought, hey, if I got to wear them just for driving and go into the movies and if I go to the theater and I want to see people on the stage and not do this <laughs> and strain my eyes, I thought I might as well have some fun ones. Anyway, so Hot Look, back to Hot Look, because I can go down a little bunny trail. You know me. Um, I started with these little spiky earrings. They were only $16. And I was like, and you belong to me. The other thing, the reason that I really had to make a purchase was they were debuting back, well not debuting, but they were finally back on with my favorite cosmetics line that they regularly have there, and it's the balm. And it's not like it's the balm, like it's so fabulous. No, it is really literally the balm. And my first introduction to the balm was through Birchbox, many, many moons ago and I got this little teeny tiny sample of hot mama from the balm and this came in my birch box and look how tiny it is it's so sweet and so cute but I love their packaging that it's all this you know kind of like cardboard it has little um, magnets to snap it shut and it keeps it shut it's really really nice and um, and then I decided okay uh, I went to birch box and I found this amazing palette there called Balm Jovi, and it had all of these other things, a mirror, and all of these um, eyeshadows, and cheeks, and lip colors, and, and then I saw this on Hot Look. This and another blush that I picked up, both of these I picked up on Birchbox for full price. I found these more than half off on Hot Look, and I was like, what? So I've been trolling, 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 and every time I forget to check Hot Look, I see that they're just finishing up and everything that I would normally purchase, they're out of. And I was like, ah, this is what I get. Because I would never buy shampoo from them. I never buy conditioner or body lotion. What I want are the cosmetics. So I've been vigilant, checking, 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 checking. And they finally, finally, finally came back. And I was like, okay. So the first thing that I saw and I had to try, I've been wanting to try one of their new In Stain blushes. And this one here is called Twall. It says it right here on the side. And I love this one. This is basically a beautiful, if you look at it, kind of like a strawberry color. Um, and it's really pretty. Now, the one thing that I would say that is different about these, they, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I will cough up a lung. I'm going to try not to. And so when they say they are a stain, they very much are a stain. Um, and if I swatch this for you, it, it is really pigmented. Um, but it shears out pretty nicely, you know, right here. But I, I realize that I have to be careful when I use my brush to pick it up. Um, that if I'm not careful and tap it first and then just very lightly go over, if I get it in one spot first, yeah, I have to, you know, really work it, work it, work it, or, you know, take a Kleenex and kind of rub it off because if it's in one spot and it's stuck, yeah, it's stuck for the day. So I've had to really change the way I apply blush when I'm wearing the in stain blush, but it goes all day long and it lasts and it lasts and it lasts, and you don't need very much. So one of these is going to last you a long time. Very high quality. I really love this blush. I would like to try some of the other shades in this in stain line. So there's that. Another thing that I've been wanting to try from them, and I know you might have it, you might love it, but I just had to try it, was this. It's their Nude Tude. 
and it's basically a nude palette and um, I love this one here because I got the one that had all the girls you know with the eyeshadows covered up their privates and I was like hello how cute and sassy is that so I love it and it goes from and they're, they're mostly let's see how many one two three I think out of all of these there's only four nude colors there's a, a big giant mirror up here um, and if I, you know, you'll actually see me. Yep, there we go. I'm going to try and hide that from you. Um, and then down here it comes with a brush. Um, the brush is really not that high quality, just to be totally honest. Um, it, it came, it was kind of bended, and I didn't really like that. In a pinch, you could use it. Um, do I use it? I think I used it once just to see what it was like, and I was not happy with the outcome. You can see actually some powder coming out of there. But I don't really like it. But what I will say is that these colors are amazing. And it goes from over here like a really, really shiny white, um, shimmery kind of eggshell color. And this here, this yellow, I was thinking, wow, that's kind of crazy. But on my pale skin tone, it comes across really lovely. It's not too yellow, it's more golden. And you have some pinks, a really pretty shell pink, some more neutral colors, and you can get some darker colors, more of your wine tones, and then a deep matte black and then that deep matte brown which i've been using as eyeliner shades and are fantastic of course you could use it if you're doing a smoky eye you could just use it and kind of smoke out whatever it is you're doing um, and since i've been using this mostly for work not for going out um, it has turned in mostly into like eyeliners or like you know right along down here the lower lash line just like a little dip in the smudge and it gives me enough definition so that i don't have to pull out like a an actual pencil or something and I really like it. I think it's really fun. Um, and it being half off, I thought it was really great. The other one I've been really dying to try, I know that they have a palette called Meat Matte. And this one is called Meat Matte Nude. And that means that all of the shades in this palette, um, it also comes with a big mirror up here, but they're all nudes. And I like that they're these huge, huge full size and they're very wearable nude shades you've got a couple of you know deep charcoal grays to more dove gray this one over here has more of a lavender shade to that cool color um, a, a, just a plain white um, and it's really really lovely and I found that, that this one here this rose toned kind of taupey rose toned is beautiful this one up here has more of a if you look at it maybe I'll swatch it for you here you get a little bit more it's this one's called Matt Garcia so even though it is kind of brown in tone it's kind of like a really warm brown um, and I like this matte rose and this matte wood here is really like a, a deep espresso brown and this matte Johnson even though it is a gray it's kind of more like a bluish gray I like that there's a lot of variety here and you can get a really neat smoky eye going if you go with like the grays those are nice um, I found this one down here this matte Lombardi I thought this would be like too yellow um, and I find that over my skin tone it actually works out like a perfect almost like butter neutrally color and it's almost oddly enough it almost neutralizes all the red in my eye and then it's like I have a clear canvas it's really interesting because I don't know about you, but I do have some red in my eyelid and that helps kind of just like wipe it out. And it's really fantastic. And then I can do lots of other things with it. If, of course, if I use too much, it's too yellow, but like a quick wash of it over the top and it's like all the red is gone. <laughs> it's awesome. I really, really like it. So I just really think this is fantastic and I find this is really great for work for me. It's a really great work eye palette and um, it has no sparkle to it all they're all mattes and I think it's really really great just specifically for that so if you're ever looking to uh, maybe try out some of the the balm products uh, I would say check out Hot Look um, I find that these maybe come up two to three times a year you may want to follow Hot Look on Twitter you may want to just get on there I have it on my um, on my phone and app on my phone and I just you know open and check every day just check under beauty what are they doing today anything interesting there and this might be maybe the second purchase after I've been looking under Hot Look for the last maybe 18 months so I look every day but I don't purchase every day and that's a good thing because it could be spending for my wallet but for these three items 
normal prices would have been $100 and I spent 50. They were 50% off. It was really worth it and the quality for the balm is incredible. They also had all their other line of products. They had nail color, they had hair products, they had um, mascara, eyeliner, I mean everything you could dream of, lipsticks, lip gloss, everything. Um, and these are the sort of products I have been wanting to try from the balm. Their in stains and more of their eyeshadow palettes because that's really what I've been wanting. So I just thought you might be interested. And if you're not familiar with Hot Look, it's a great way to try out some of the higher end cosmetic products or some really fun jewelry at a more reasonable price. So have a great day and thanks for watching.